guess what this is? It measures electrical use and I use it for grow lights as well as some of the hydroponic units that I use. This is how I monitor and measure electrical usage, uh, watts, amps, and it is a energy monitor by a company called Predacol. So what you see behind you is a Aero Garden Bounty and it's supposed to be 40 watts and I wanted to find out if it was legit or not. So I'm going to show you right now what the readings happen to come out to be. Uh, I'm going to show you first of all the electrical usage by the pump and the computer board and then secondly I'm going to show you what happens when I flipped on the uh, light to see how much electrical use was being generated or not generate actually, you know, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Used. And so here you go, and here are the numbers that I have come up with. Also, you see how dark these leaves are? Very lush and green. I swapped out my AeroGuard nutrients for something else that was produced by a company called Dynagro. And Dynagro uh, makes a nutrient that is called the 936 uh, formulation. And what you may not hear from a lot of manufacturers is this actually comes very close to nature in the 312 ratio of major nutrients that you find when you analyze leaves in a lab. It uh, is very much in balance with nature, very much in balance with the needs of the plants. Here is a close up of the bottle of Dynagro Foliage. Pro, and I picked this up from Amazon in case you're curious. You can get it in different sizes from this size clear up to a quart or a gallon or more. Also, check this out. This is the AeroGarden uh, No Rinse Hydroponic Clean Solution. And here is a close up of the AeroGarden product, the Hydroponic No Rinse Cleanser. And one of the biggest problems that I've had in the past has been that the housing inside here gets uh, full of calcium and uh, mineral deposits because our city water is full of those and the pump and the filter also oftentimes uh, just clogged up and so at the end of a grow with lettuce maybe it's not too bad but when you grow something long term like a hot pepper that could go like 170 to 200 days you're going to find that there's caked on minerals all over the place and so i have not tested this out yet but I'm going to be and sharing the results. It just came out not too long ago and it contains something called uh, percarbonates on it, which you don't find on their website. Uh, percarbonates will uh, oxidize, kind of like a famous cleaner called OxyClean, but it's, it's in a pure form. So you don't have all the uh, other goop that comes with OxyClean. This is a uh, very environmentally friendly uh, type of cleaner and so basically you put in a tablespoon or so into this after you pull the plants out let it run and then you could just dump it and uh, set up your aero garden for use again which was one of the biggest uh, issues that I've had with this little type of uh, hydroponic setup. While extremely happy with the performance of this aero garden Here's my summary after having it for about uh, 53 days or so. Uh, you can see that everything grows quite lushly. The basil on the right, the hot peppers that are growing. One of the things that I've noticed is a great disparity when starting seeds that some plants will quickly dominate and others will languish. In fact, if you were to look right here, you could tell that uh, this particular grow site is now empty and it did have lettuce coming up in it and right beside it chives as the other plants have grown uh, they have pretty much smothered uh, these smaller plants and so it becomes more apparent that you'll want to grow plants of a similar size and growing nature together when you uh, grow in this container the other thing that i noticed is that for between $250 and $300, the cost benefit uh, starts to become a question. What I would say is that if you're going to grow something long term, such as uh, peppers, tomatoes, fruiting plants, that perhaps you'll want to have a little bit larger grow system, but herbs, lettuce, uh, smaller dwarf plants should be uh, quite fine for this type of system. One big improvement on this garden compared to some of the other aero gardens is they put the 
fill lid right in the center in the front. And we'll see if we can get in here a little bit closer. You can see that it's, it's very simple to read the uh, fill level when adding nutrients in here to the front. It's very easy to see the growth and the health of the root system. And if I could turn this just a little bit, the pump and the filter are right underneath the deck. So if I were to lift the deck, let's see if I can get this. You'll see that uh, it's very easy to look down in there and see the condition of the filter at the bottom. You can check to see if the water is dripping from each of these grow sites as well. So if you're looking into a product that you could use for hydroponic growing, I would have to say that if you want to grow a uh, pepper, you may be better off looking into something called Cracky Hydroponics, where you can basically take a uh, five gallon bucket full of water with no pumps or aeration and grow a pepper under a $50 grow light. You'll get better results, more uh, pods, etc. If you're looking for something that you want to put in a house that uh, doesn't look so tacky or an office, something that doesn't take up a lot of space, and this would be something that you might want to look into because the way that this system grows, it has the pump inside that recirculates the water and also trickles into each of these nine sites at the top. And that really launches seedlings off to a great start, allows them to grow quickly. And if you like to have salad greens in your diet, this is just a mini factory that would allow you to do that quite easily.